I know James is attached to his cars, but I'm not gonna leave here without doing my job when it comes to this coupe. Has anybody ever made any offers on this thing? Have you ever priced this thing? Yeah, a few folks have uh, been offering me 25 for it over the years. Think about it, that's a car that was made during the Great Depression, and then they were scrapped for the World War II scrap drive. So a lot of them doesn't exist, and now people have scooped these up, they're in collections, just like we've seen today. Yeah, it's very period correct. It's kind of a 40s period hot rod. This wall, somebody's replaced That's been all changed. of this. Yeah. Some of the original firewalls there, for some reason, they just put this cover over it. Let me ask you this. Somebody offered you 25K on this yes. thing, and that obviously uh, didn't buy it. What would yeah, buy this car? I didn't sell it because I wanted 30. The problem with the car is the firewall has been replaced. The person that's going to want to buy that car, they're looking at putting juice brakes on it. They're looking at putting a bigger, bigger motor. motor in it, making the car mechanically sound to drive down the road. So paying 30 and then they're going to have to stick another 10 or 15 not as too much money into the car. What's your bottom bottom on the 33? Yeah, I need bottom? to get 30. You yeah. got to get 30 out of it. I hate to leave that car because they're not everywhere. I love the car. Uh, many a late night, my wife would ring down and say, "Hun, your supper's ready at 6 p.m. And at 8.30, I'd walk in, and uh, supper would be cold, but I'd get something fixed. And, uh, and then the next day, I'd maybe take the car for a ride. It was worth it. 25 grand buy it? No, yeah, I appreciate the offer. At the end of the day, it's like, I can't pay the 30. He knows I can't pay the 30. He was like, I love that. I could just tell, I was like, that's it. It was difficult.